Reed's Meat presents Duck Soup by author Jackie Urbanovic and performed by Terry Fader, world famous ventriloquist, singer, comedian, and impressionist. Headlining in the Terry Fader Theater at Mirage Las Vegas. Hi, everybody. I'm Terry Fader, and I'm lynched in the impersonating turtle. Okay, now, Winston, we're going to read this book. Okay. It's called Duck Soup. Okay. And then I'm going to read it, and anything in quotation marks, you get to read. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley, and potato. Soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la. This is going to be grand. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon, red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, cracker barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many bean soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef, not Max. Now he was making his own soup, the soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. Max thought it over. A pinch of this? A pinch of that? Broccoli? Zucchini? Chives? That's it! It needs an urn from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in uno momento. Smack! The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bibi walked in. Oh, what smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max, Maxie, where are you? Called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So, what's wrong, asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Dakota gasped. I think I know where Max went. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Call for help, cried BB. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max, grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said BB. He can't hear you. I know the strainer. The strainer? Strainer? The big bowl with the little holes, grab it. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. Ah, it's his head, said BB. Silly, it's only a potato, Brody replied. Eyeballs, his eyeballs, said BB. Guys, it's only tiny onions, said Brody. His feet, yelled Dakota. Calm down, you two, it's only carrot slices, said Brody. Smack! They all looked up as the back door slammed shut. Who could that be? My soup! Max, Max, Max! That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said BB. We know you're disappointed, said Irene. But at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed, even Max. We want to thank our supporters for making this story possible. Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic. Copyright 2008 by Jackie Urbanovic. Published by HarperCollins Children's Books. All rights reserved. Used with permission of the author.